Hi everyone. So I wanted to put together this video. Um, I was asked to put together a little um, video just describing how this time has been for me uh, while we're in quarantine, not quarantine, but while we're at home um, and we're not together at church and we're just not together as a church family physically. Um, but I will say for me, this has really been a, a blessing and a gift that I have totally taken advantage of and I don't ever want to take for granted that we have time to spend um, in the Word and with, with God, but I want to use my time wisely and um, I've learned some really good new habits um, and actually it's just become very, um, very much a part of my life and I'm so grateful actually for this time. Um, I am spending my every morning reading and just searching the Bible and just reading other books that are written by people that have been blessed to, um, be inspired by God I believe um, and so when I'm reading my Bible actually my uh, routine which I love it because it's a routine that doesn't feel routine if that makes sense it's actually a routine that's become part of my life and I, I I'm so grateful um, and I started with a devotion, and every devotion has a biblical um, or a scriptural uh, reference. So then I do go to my Bible and I read that reference, and then I, um, and then after that, I'll I'll actually focus on um, the verses that are around that scripture, spend more time in it, and then I have. A book that I'm currently reading by John Piper and it's called Reading the Bible Supernaturally and this has just been an incredible incredible um, gift to me um, as I just feel that I'm being transformed um, when I read it and when I read God's Word and um, I actually I start my reading before I start my reading, I should say, I start out by praying and asking the Holy Spirit to open the eyes of my heart so that I can understand what I'm reading. And um, I've learned not to go to the Bible just for answers for maybe something that's going on in my life, but more so so that I can get to know my Heavenly Father and my Savior so that I can get to know them better and that I can get to know that I can know um, the glory that God has surrounded us with. I'm, you know, I'm sitting in my sunroom right now and I'm thinking how beautiful everything is. And I am thinking to myself, I don't really want to go back to the way things were in the sense that I want to be busy and not making time for this. I really actually hope that this changes us and changes the way we spend time with God. I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't miss church and I don't miss the um, getting together as a church body because I love that and I love worshiping together, but I will say that through this, it's, I've been caused, it, the Holy Spirit has caused me to seek God more. And I just, I can spend hours reading and I wouldn't have been able to do that or I wouldn't have made the time to do that. I don't look at the clock anymore when I'm reading. I don't, I, I mean, I, I beg, not beg, I'm sorry, that's, let me back up. I ask God please, when I'm reading, help me to focus. Please take things out of my mind that I shouldn't be thinking about while I'm 
spending time with God because it's so precious and I think of those countries and those people that don't have this time that they can spend and I, I'm understanding now why they are so desperate for the Word of God because you know what when you read it and you see the gospel for what it really is um, it's just an amazing gift and I feel extremely blessed to have my eyes opened to the true glory of God's blessings and I I just want to share it with everybody I I pray that people around the world will have their hearts opened and their the eyes of their hearts opened to accept the gospel and just to be able to dive into God's Word and know um, what he what he's offering you he's offering you the gift of eternal life if you trust in Jesus and I I remember when I used to pick up books or the Bible I would read and think that I'm not getting anything out of this and and what a terrible thought but I wasn't truly believing and I wasn't truly letting the Holy Spirit work in me and and also I'm understanding the scriptures in a way that I believe God has called me to and I believe that he is opening my eyes and and some of those scriptures I you know what I don't have them at my fingertips but um, that are referenced where where Jesus was talking to the disciples and telling them I have opened your eyes to the mysteries of the kingdom um, and I really believe that my eyes have been opened and I'm so grateful and I just wanted to share that with everyone that during this time I have found it a complete gift to be able to spend time with the Lord and to be able to completely open my heart and my eyes and my mind and my soul to get to know him better and not be distracted and I pray that we don't go back to our usual ways and we don't go back to what we call <laughs> I'm doing quotes qual call normal and that there is a new normal and the new normal would be that we spend more time with God and that we focus on him and what he wants us to do before he calls us um, to be with him and look at look at how beautiful that is <laughs> um, but yeah that that was on my heart and I I pray that everyone is safe and healthy and just um, spending time in the word and and in other books too um, I've learned that reading books along with the word books that are inspired um, by God help have helped me to better understand um, God's Word and how special it is so I hope you all have a great weekend and um, and I am looking forward to coming back to church and seeing everyone and um, spending time in worship so have a good weekend everyone thank you